Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. In our previous video, we got to check out the Libre Computer Alta AML A311DCC. It has some interesting AI uh, capabilities. Remember, we already tested Sweet Potato versus Lay Potato running Sysbench. We're using the new Debian Bookworm OS. We also tested Raspberry Pi 5 against Raspberry Pi 4. Well, now let's take this Libre Computer Alta AML A311DCC and see how it stacks up against the Raspberry Pi 4. We're going to use matching TF cards here. Those are decent quality TF cards. Yeah, so this is the Alta. I didn't really clearly understand what they're saying here. First, SBC is designed to work with upstream distros out of the box, still some quirks with Debian. It led me to believe that I could just load the standard image, but you see here, the, the there's no grub, so it doesn't, there's no bootloader. Libre Computer said in the forum that they're going to make an article about how to set up any operating system you want with a bootloader. I'll be looking forward to that, and I'll certainly highlight that when you see it. But no, you still have to use their images. So I'm on the Alta page on Libre Computer. Libre, Libre.computer is the URL. And we're going to use the Raspbian. And this is the Debian 12. Yeah, for the Alta, you want to use this ARM64, full ARM64. That's what they're saying there. Yeah, for the UEFI BIOS, use that ARM64. And they're recommending that you actually decompress that image before you burn it to the micro SD card. I did have some problems around getting it to boot. So yeah, you want to follow their instructions. Yeah, so you see here, I've already extracted that Raspbian bookworm image. And I did go ahead and use the customization settings because I wanted to see if it would work. We're going to use the official Raspberry Pi 5 power supply. <laughs> Plenty of watts available there. And there's the Alta, my AGB tech that I use for recording the screen captures, my portable monitor, wireless keyboard and mouse. And I'm filling up as many USB ports on the Alta as I can because I kind of encountered issues using the Wi-Fi dongle in the lay potato and I wanted to see if there's any conflict with the USB dongles for the mouse and the keyboard. I went to a wired keyboard and mouse to get around the problems I had with lay potato. Here we are booting up for the first time. And we'll see here, hey, Wi-Fi connected. I got an IP address. All right, so we know the customization settings worked, or we can check, let's see, what's my username? Yeah, we open terminal and you see my username, Shitoku Tech. So that's all part of the custom settings. We're gonna go ahead and install Sysbench now. Pseudo app get install Sysbench. Copy, paste. There we go. We'll crop some of this out. All right, let's clear out that terminal there. Get a couple more terminal instances opened. Now we can run our Sysbench tests. Basically, testing CPU, uh, how fast uh, to write two gigabytes of files to the uh, TF card, and how fast to write two gigabytes of data to the memory. First up is the CPU test. I'm just going to copy it and paste. Look for the link down below. I'll have a link to this article with these tests. This test is 10 seconds long, so it's always 10 seconds. It's just how many reps does it do? Yeah, 8,400. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll see when I put it all on the charts and put it up against the Raspberry Pi 4. Here goes the I.O. test. This is writing that two gigs of files to the TF card. It's uh, 128 uh, megs at a time. <laughs> I'm not speeding this up or slowing this down, and I'm going to show you the whole thing because this is fast. I was, I was blown away. 
especially when we started comparing it. Yeah, wow. Well over 200 megabits per second. That, that just, I already remember how things turned out in previous tests. Okay, here goes the memory test. And this is based on how long it takes to write that two gigs and read that two gigs. Yeah, something doesn't look good here. We'll find, <laughs> we'll look at that closer. Let's get these all lined up so you can see them together. Like I say, I'm not going to dwell on it too much right now. We'll see when we get to actually the charts at the end of the video. Okay, it's Raspberry Pi's turn. Again, it gets its own TF card formatted just for that test. And we're going to go ahead. I've already stepped through all the setup and everything, and we've got Sysbench installed. Of course, we're doing a update upgrade before all of this as well. So the OS is up to the latest. Here goes the CPU test. 5,000 something. Can't read it from here. <laughs> we'll go into detail when we have the charts. Here goes the IO test. I am going to crop this because it takes a long time. I just can't talk over it. <laughs> I don't have enough interesting things to say while this is running here, but you can see it's considerably slower. So we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Wow. <laughs> Almost 90 seconds it took. Yeah, 20 megabits per second written. And this identical TF cards, freshly formatted, fresh image written, updates applied. Here goes the memory test. Whoa, that blew the uh, Alta out of the water. <laughs> the Alta was at 2.4, and this is, yeah, like 0.9. That's an interesting development. Yeah. That's the only thing that I'm seeing jumps out at me. Oh yeah, I, I wanted to see that max latency in the memory test. And yeah, there still is a weird aberration there. It was 0.5 and this one's 0.26. So there's something definitely there on the Raspberry Pi in terms of that max latency. So we're on the charts now and we're seeing, yeah, 840 uh, ticks per second against 581. So you're looking at 33% faster the Alta is 33% faster than the Raspberry Pi 4. And I think when you look at everything in terms of latency, there is some abnormal uh, latency max on the Raspberry Pi 4. Yeah, so you're looking at 1.7 against 1.1, but you have this with 14 here. Uh, yeah, so that's odd. Yeah, that latency max really stands out on the Raspberry Pi 4. It didn't affect the 95th percentile that much. It drove it up by 1 one hundredth. Yeah, where you see the 95th percentile of the Alta is, is pretty much in line with minimum and average. Okay, so we're looking at that memory test. And again, that really doesn't look well with the... Alta at 37% of the speed of the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, again, there's that weird abnormality of the max latency on the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, yeah, you can see total time. It took three times as long for the Alta to complete the test. Yeah, but here's where the superstar stands out. Eight seconds to write that two gigs to the TF card by the Alta. So 239 megabits per second. Raspberry Pi took 89 seconds at 22 megabits per second. And again, all things being equal as far as the TF card and the format, etc. So you're looking at 1,000 times faster. That's so uh, anything write intensive, read intensive on the TF card might play out as an advantage. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have something different to test the memory for the Alta. I think we're missing something here. Yeah, see, even here, the sweet potato and law potato were 1.5 against Alta's 2.4. So Alta's actually <laughs> slower memory than sweet potato in the same circumstances running. Uh, oh, but yeah, come to mention it, when I was testing sweet potato versus lay potato, I was using the Debian operating system, not the Raspbian operating system. So let's just run that test again using Debian. Uh, similar numbers here. 
8400 clicks on the CPU. Uh, we lost a little speed on the TF card writing and the memory number didn't change. It's still 2.4. I think, you know, when you consider the Alta you know, quad core performance with crypto enhancement, uh, dual core efficiency with crypto enhancement, a uh, dual core GPU. I think we're just missing something here. I also want to make sure that we figure out what they mean by designed to work with upstream distros out of the box. You're going to want to stay tuned. Of course, if you're interested in purchasing the Alta from Libre Computer, there will be a link down below. I, I, I'm going to be checking this out more. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it still. I want to do some work around AI. So give this video a like, leave a comment down below. And before you go watch more of my La Potato or more of my Raspberry Pi videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.